Hey guys, I'm Martin and today I want to show you a little CSS selector trick um, I recently learned and I'm a little bit baffled that I haven't used this before. Um, yeah, and maybe I'm the only one um, or maybe uh, you will like this, this little trick or this little CSS selector um, as much as I do. So um, yeah, think of uh, a little block layout. You have a few articles beneath each other and um, in every article, I have the HTML here in, in this code pen, um, you have a bunch of paragraph tags with some text. And um, as you do, you give every article paragraph um, tag a margin bottom, let's say 20 pixels, and you get this. So now every article um, has some padding and a border and you get this big um, margin at the bottom because the last paragraph tag has margin bottom and the article itself has padding. So you want to remove this last margin from the, the last uh, paragraph. So what you do is you say, yeah, in article P last child, um, margin bottom is zero. So this works. I've done this dozens of times or maybe even um, uh, just this one article last child so no matter which um, which element is the last one inside the article it has margin bottom zero so the padding is all around um, the same but um, this is resetting some of these styles we earlier wrote so maybe there is um, just an easier solution to that. And here comes the CSS3 not selector. So let's erase this. We get the big margin at the bottom and let's just apply the margin bottom of 20 pixels only to the paragraphs, which are not the last child. So we can say P not last child. And now the margin is gone because we apply the margin bottom only to the um, to all paragraph text, which are not the last child. So um, I haven't tested this, but this should probably work as well. Um, let's say the last element is a block quote with some um, text, and now the block quote has no margin bottom. Ah, okay, we, we should try and add another block quote, maybe in the middle. We are in the second, okay, here. Um, so we can identify, we add the big B. Yeah, here's block quote, and here's a block quote. And um, so every child of class article will have margin bottom of 20 pixels but not the um, first uh, not the child inside article which is the last child okay this sounds very confusing so um, all of these are um, ch uh, direct childs of the article okay this is what this means and then um, we want to apply the margin bottom to all of them but not um, the last child of them. So this will be this, it's a block quote, and this will also be this one, it's a paragraph. So I hope this wasn't too confusing, but um, yeah, the not selector is perfect for these kind of scenarios and you can use it. It's a CSS3 selector and it's supported in all the browsers, um, not really in IE8, but um, who's using IE8 again? I don't know. So um, yeah, I will use the not selector much more often because um, this is a very nice use case and I'm very sure there are a lot of, lot of these um, in projects and I haven't seen them because the not selector was not really on my mind. So um, yeah, I hope you learned something and see you in the next video, bye.